Scott, welcome to Vitality Stadium. It's a venue which has happy memories for you. Your first away win in management here. Hopefully there'll be lots more to come with, with Bournemouth. Just tell us what attracted you to the club. I think it's probably a, a perfect fit for, for both, really, at this present moment in time, to be honest with you. So um, I'm familiar with Bournemouth because of uh, my relationship with, with Harry. And um, so I'm familiar with the surroundings. It's a, it's a football club that that I used to visit quite often watching him um, and certainly the, the, the ethos and what the, 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 the reputation and everything else, what, what it's come from is, is certainly one which is very exciting for me. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited about this challenge for, for me and my staff and I'm excited for, yeah, for, for the next part of that really. Just tell us during your discussions with the board, what would they have asked of you going forward? Well, I think firstly that, that Richard Hughes and Neil Blake were tremendous and fantastic in everything they did in terms of how they sold the club to me, in terms of their vision, um, their their whole their whole personality and how they sold that was 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 top really. So I was very impressed with them and and, and the amount they showed in terms of what how how desperately they they wanted me to come here. So. Um, yeah, and I mean, look, I, like I said, it's a, it's a football club that I'm very familiar with. It's a football club that that has brought young talent prospects through. And from going back from Eddie Howe and the, the, the time he spent here and the, what he did here was, was nothing short of incredible, really. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I, I feel this, it's a perfect fit for me. And I think in my short reign as a manager for the last two years, I think people will have looked at the teams and my teams, the way I want my team to play. Um, and, and, and more to that, the, the sort of players and the profile of players I want. Um, and, and then players are young, hungry, coachable players, players that want to improve and players that want to get better. Um, and I feel in this football club is something which is, yeah, which is always, they've stood by that. And certainly I look at the squad and, and, and that fits that as well, really. What can AFC Bournemouth supporters expect from a Scott Parker team? Dynamic team, a hungry team, a team that, that obviously a, a representation of the fans and the football club and in, in a sense of what every fan out there, whether you're a Bournemouth fan or whether you're whatever football fan you are, you want to see your team go out there every week and, and leave nothing on the pitch and certainly that's, that's something which um, will always be a mainstay for, for any one of my teams. And then other than that as well, like I said, a dynamic front foot team, a team that want to go and win games and, and put their stamp on football matches and try and dominate um, in all areas of the game really. So. Um, yeah, like always, it's a, there's, there's a process and there'll be process in place um, and we'll try and hit the ground as quick as we can. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, to getting the fans back. Obviously, we've not had the, the fans around. I didn't have them for the last 18 months and, and, and likewise, the players have not. So, um, hopefully, uh, the fans will be impressed with, with, with how, we, how we move forward. And what can the squad expect from a Scott Parker pre-season? Hard work. Hard work, yeah. There's no... Um, there's, there's no shortcuts. You want success. You want to. You want to. You want to get out of this division like we do, and um, then that's down to hard work. So it's going to be a tough pre-season, of course, but it won't just be t a pre-season, which is tough. The, the, the whole part of this season will be tough, and the, the players will understand that. Of course, they will. And the sacrifices that we need to make for us to be successful this year will be will be right up there, and um, we'll, we'll aim to do that. You spoke about Harry Arter earlier, your brother-in-law. Did you sound him out at all about what to expect here? A little bit, yeah. I spoke to I spoke to Harry in in, in terms of the the club and, and you know the dynamics of, of, of the club. And I think, like I said earlier, I think Neil and Richard have been very open and and have have, have given me a real insight into that really. So um, yeah, look, like I said, Harry spent a long time here and was was immensely successful and was a part of a team. In that at that moment, which will, will probably go down in the history of, of this football club, really. So, um, of course, he was someone who I who I spoke to, and to, just to find out a little bit more. What can you tell us about your plans for a backroom staff? Yeah, I bring I bring uh, my staff with me. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I bring a, my coach, the coach who was with me at, at, at Spurs when I when I started my my career in Matt Wells, um, Rob Birch as well. And then also on the on the on the fitness side and the sports science side, um, Charlie Moore and Ali Harris, who, who will help us on that side in terms of getting players fit and up to speed, um, and then an analyst in 
in Jonathan Hill, really. So all guys were an extremely talented, a young, um, a young, vibrant team, really, um, with a lot of experience as well. Um, so yeah, I have no doubt they'll they'll help the team and help the players get to where we need to get to. Fixtures came out last week, and it's a return to Craven Cottage in December. You must have fond memories of your time there, both as a player and a manager. Yeah, big. Big memories, fond memories. Look, I, I, I spent a large part there as a player and then was privileged enough to, to, to take the reins and, and become coach. And in the first season, obviously, got the, got the team promoted. Um, and then last year, again, in, in the Premier League, for the disappointment of not staying in the division, of course, there was, um, there was some real highs as well, really. So um, I have nothing but, but real fond memories of, of Fulham and my time there. And I know I, I've left the club in a in a very, very good position, a very good place. So, um, yeah, I look forward to, to going back there and looking back on some on some old faces, really. You know the Championship from your time at Fulham as well. What's your assessment of the Championship that we're coming into this season? Well, it's a rel relentless league. I think we all know that. I think the fixtures and the way they, they are, it's, it's, it's game after game. Um, and there's one thing you need to be. You need to be strong, physical, a fit team. Um, so, yeah, look, I, I think we will understand the challenges of what the championship brings and um, we need to be ready for that. And we will be because, of, you know, like I said, the experiences, you know, I've had playing in it and also managing it. And our start is West Brom, Nottingham Forest, Birmingham, Blackpool and Hull in the first month and MK Dons in the Carabao Cup. What do you make of that? Yeah, it's a, I think it's like anything in this division, you know, that the games come around thick and fast and... Um, it's, 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 a, it's a start that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I probably take no, not a lot of notice of the actual fixtures and what they are. Obviously, the first game's a big game. It's a team coming out of the Premier League, which have got the, 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 the financial side to it and, and, and a squad which is, which is capable this year. Of course it is, but it's a brilliant game for us. It's a, it's a, it's a great game for us to, to have our eyes on and set a marker out. And then from there, of course, the games come thick and fast, really. So. Um, We'll just be ready and prepared for, what, for what, what, what lies ahead, really. You said it's a demanding league, but you managed a team out of it. What, what's the secret? I think I go back to it. I think it's cliche, but I think it's hard work. It's relentless. It's hard work. The ups and downs and the, and the ebbs and flows of this division and, and where you pitch yourself is, is, is psychologically and physically is, is, is massive, really. And we need to be ready for that. Of course, there's going to be some disappointment this year. Um, like anything in this league, you often see it. We need to be prepared for them moments. But I think ultimately, like I've said many a time, and I'll always say it, is, is graft and it's hard work. And, and uh, being a team that are disciplined and are willing to, to work hard on a, on a daily basis, on a training pitch, will obviously reap with the rewards of, of winning football matches in this league. There ain't no shortcuts. There's no one name on a team sheet that can go and win the league or you, you think you've got a, a better squad than someone else is, is an irrelevance in this league and what, what, what you need to have is a bit of humility, understand that what gets us out of this league is going to be hard work and, and that's what the players will understand when they, when they come in. And a message for AFC Bournemouth supporters, Scott? Well, look, I, I hope that, you know, we can build a relationship. I, you know, I hope that I can deliver and the players can deliver and my staff can deliver a football team that the fans are proud of. Um, you know, I hope they, they look upon our team and it represents themselves, and they can they can they can see that. And I think that's the first aim. Um, and yeah, ho hopefully over the course of a, a, a long sustained period, we we can build that relationship and, and, and move forward. And together as a football club, we can do that and have success.